Well, hello, Dirtfish Rally friends. I'm Colin Clark, and this is our lunchtime recap from day one here in Rally Estonia. And what a morning we have had. Four stages, 64 kilometers, but we've seen some drama. Perhaps the biggest drama this morning is Oik Tanak. He picked up a puncture in stage three, then retired on the road section. We're not quite sure why he retired, but Tanak is now out of the rally. Other noticeable retirees this morning, Takamoto Katsuta, he was in third place, just five seconds or so off second place. He also retired on the road section. Gus Greensmith had an issue early on this morning. Drama aplenty out here in the stages of Rally Estonia. What does that all mean? Well, our top three after five stages in third place, quite remarkably, considering the road conditions and the fact that he's cleaning the roads, is Sebastian Ogier. For sure, uh, grip is lower, you have to know that. At least it's consistent, you know, and uh, uh, that's, that's, that's one of the nice things being on the front. The grip is consistent. You just have to pay attention when you change uh, uh, different surfaces, like to just adapt to the, the grip condition. But uh, I have to say it's all uh, like expected uh, in terms of gap with the lead. But uh, I think we've done everything we could this morning. So, so far, very positive for us. Well, did we expect anything less from Sebastian Ogier? What an effort from him to maintain a reasonable gap between himself and the leaders. Now, the other driver who, well, should we be surprised by this? Probably not because he does it so regularly. Craig Breen hasn't been in a rally car, a world rally car, competitively on gravel since this event eight or nine months ago. Gets into the car quick as you like. He's in second and enjoying himself out there. Minus, obviously the test and everything went really well and uh, yeah you know obviously having experience in the rally last year knowing that we've done something similar last year you know jumping in and, and we're on the pace just try to, to carry it forward and you know you can't deny I had a very good road position starting this morning as well so just just try to take advantage of that. Tell us how the tyres got on obviously soft tyres this morning it was very very hot out there how did you feel the tyres were particularly in that final stage? Honestly I was quite impressed uh, especially with the wear I, the wear was not bad at all I uh, was always a little bit worried about how the, how the heat would be on, uh, you know, on, on, on these type of roads, but actually it was, was quite fine. So I would say it's a little bit more of a headache now for the second pass because I was thinking more that the tyre wear would be a little bit more critical, a little bit more, let's say, heavy, but it's actually not so bad. So a really quick morning from Craig Brewing, but the quickest of the lot out there is our flying Finnish prodigy, Kali Rovenpera. He has just taken to these stages well as if they were his own. A faultless, fast, flowing morning from Cali Rovenpera. Maybe not the cleanest stage of the loop. I was a bit surprised about the time. For sure I was pushing a lot, but uh, still could, could take some easy seconds off in, in places where I went wide or something like this. But uh, yeah, overall it was really enjoyable stage. So just to recap for you, Rovenpera leads Craig Breen just under five seconds behind him. Sebastian Ogier in third, just over 30 seconds off the lead. But I think you can see behind me, the clouds are building, the storm is coming. What does that mean for this afternoon's stage as well? It was tricky this morning. It was difficult this morning. If this rain hits our stages, which I think it will, it could be the most dramatic of afternoons. All the news as it unfolds on dirtfish.com.